Hi guys, Zach here from CodyMadeSimple.com and welcome to another tutorial. Today I want to show you guys a little engine that I've come across and uh, to show you guys and I thought it was really cool and it was this sort of this water uh, engine that you can use in your platforming games and I'm going to show you a project that uh, a buddy of mine is working on Rex Furry. Some of you may know him. This is a new project he's working on, and he's actually used this water engine, and I thought it was really cool. So I wanted to show you guys uh, what that looks like now, and then maybe go through a little bit of the code and, uh, and, and really show you guys what to do. So the download for this will be in the description, but let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. All right, so this is just the game that uh, uh, Rex Furry is working on right now. Um, but here's what the water looks like. So you can jump in and as you can see, we got this really cool effect with the water. It kind of gives you like this realistic water uh, splash effect, right? Um, so we can jump in here and you do the whole thing, right? So I thought this looked really cool. All right, so here we can just kind of dive into that water there and you get that really cool effect. All right, so there was a little problem with this engine, and I kind of want to show you guys what Rex Furry did to fix this. Uh, but essentially, what happens is in this demo room, you'll have this water block, and what's really cool about it is that you can take this water and you can stretch it, and so you can use just one object and you can make it as you know as big as you want. You don't have to keep piling different objects into it. But now one issue with this is that if you have this huge water block and you jump into it, even if you move down below, it's still going to affect the top, which is not realistic. So what Rex Ferry did to fix this was he would make a layer like this, and then he would create just a water bottom that's just its own object, nothing, no code in it, and you would just put it like that so only the top would have that wave when you get into it. So let's go ahead and look at the code. So go ahead and just make a water object and then in the create event you have a bunch of stuff and it's very beautifully commented here. So um, you know we can have everything you want to set up with the waves you can set up here and it's easily uh, you can easily uh, just change it around, right? So if you want, you know, the top waves to glimmer, you had that white sort of a uh, uh, top layer on that water, then you can do that as well. Um, you know, we have the nodes here, the smoothness, you know, the wave height and depth that it'll go. You know, a lot of this stuff, very, very easy. And you can pretty much just set it up accordingly how you'd like. In the step event, you know, you're not really gonna change any of this. Um, but just again, play with the engine, see how you like it, and I thought this was beautiful for a platformer, especially a beginner. It's very easy to hop into this code, put it into your own project, and get something to look really nice out of it. All right, so we got all this stuff here, and you can look through this in the engine, um, and gumroad.com is what has this, so the link is in the description for it, and uh, I want you guys to just play around with it and uh, have fun. So. Go ahead and go to CodyMadeSimple.com to learn more about programming and have a good day. Peace.